everybody so today we're going to be talking about my new diet plan and like I've said in a previous video when I say diet I just mean the food that you eat I'm not following a specific diet plan that um would be under like the Atkins or South Beach or anything like that um so basically what I've been doing is counting calories and a lot of people will say that that's really difficult and they do something else like 20 day fix 21 day fix or something um to help them with their eating so i guess for me the counting calories isn't really like an issue it's just the fact that like if i'm hungry and i get to a certain amount of calories and i want to eat something it's like why why should I not eat it? Like, especially if it's something healthy just because of the calories. So, I guess what I have found is that um, if this is going to be something that's going to be a lifestyle change for me, I'm going to have to adjust some things. So, we are canceling out the counting calories. I still keep, you know, in mind the calories because I do, you know, still want to be eating nutritious foods and I want to um, make sure that I'm getting the right nutrients. Which brings me to what I am going to be doing. So what I'm going to do is do my um, count my macros and my micros. And for those of you who don't know what macros are, those are your fats, your carbs, and your protein. And your micros are your fiber and your sugar. So I have my fitness pal, and I will leave my username down below if you guys would like to. Um, friend me on there if you guys have my fitness pal too um but yeah you can go into all your nutrients um when you complete your diary and you can see what you know you've taken in for the day and if it goes over what they have laid out for you it will be in the red so doing this um I will find out tomorrow when I weigh myself in um if it's working I feel like it's working because I feel like it takes a little bit of the pressure off of keeping in these certain numbers and like the whole idea behind counting calories is oh if I stay under my calories then you know I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and it's gonna work but really you need to be paying attention to the nutrients that you're giving your body because the calories yes you know they do have some sort of significance but you could eat bad things and still stay under your calories whereas if you're focusing on the nutrients in the food your number is going to be different and um you know striving for a lot of whatever on a day i know people do like high carb days and stuff i personally don't do that um but i might who knows so we're gonna see how it works and we're gonna see if there's a change I'm also going to start doing a couple of different videos for you guys and um, hopefully do more of like a weekly update. Right now I haven't really had a lot to say because I didn't even weigh myself last week. I have been busy so I went to an event and I knew that I wasn't going to eat very well and I knew that there was going to be alcohol consumption so I just didn't bother and um, this weekend I'm also going out of town but I'm not going to be doing any of that stuff until after my weigh-in, so um, we'll see. And let's see, I've just been so busy that I don't even, I don't even know. Um, eating has been pretty on and off, like I'm struggling at certain days and some days I'm fine. So what I kind of um, decided to do other than change this was to introduce some different foods into my um, my regular routine so I bought hummus when I went to the grocery store I got the avocado hummus um, and I got multi-grain tortilla chips and I absolutely love like chips and salsa so finding the multi-grain ones was like heaven sent because you can have like 17 for 120 calories and it has a whole bunch of fiber, a whole bunch of protein in it. So I'm really excited about that and they're delicious. Um, and I can eat that with my salsa. So I'm excited about that. And the hummus I tried with the chips and I tried with carrots. I don't love it. Um, but I could eat it. I don't really, I mean with the chips it's good. But the carrots not so much. I'd rather just eat the carrots by themselves. But... 
um, I'm going to try different flavors and see. Um, and if I dip different veggies in it, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But I also got multigrain bagels. Oh my goodness. So I was really nervous about this. I was like, maybe I should get the wheat ones. I don't know how I'm going to feel about multigrain. No. Multigrain is where it's at. It is so good. And, like, I love the crunchiness of, like, the nuts and stuff that are in it. And I love just, I don't know. It's It tastes way better than a plain bagel. It's so much moist. More moist. And, I don't know. I really, really like it. And it's way less calories, too. So, that's good. I was getting a little tired of oatmeal. And I really have not wanted cereal, like, in the longest time. And I really thought that I was going to be eating cereal a lot more. And I really just, I have no desire. Um, let's see. Anything else has changed? I'm going to try almond milk at some point. Or coconut milk. I just haven't decided when. <laughs> um, maybe next month I'll try it. Because I was tempted this month and I was like, no, no. I really, because like I said, I don't, you know eat cereal and so I really don't really I don't drink milk that much either just because it's so high in calories it's annoying so I just don't bother um there is one other thing that I'm going to start doing but I'm going to talk about it in a different video because I'm going to get um in depth with what I'm doing but it involves water and limes <laughs> so I think that's pretty much it um if tomorrow goes well, then we're going to stick with the micro macro um, counting and fingers crossed that it helps me get to my next goal, which is in the 170s. So yeah, see you guys next time. Leave any comments you have down below. Subscribe. I see you guys. We're almost at double digits. Woo! <laughs> Um, thank you all for subscribing and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.